once again, I think uh, DOT shows its commitment to the community, but also the uh, creativeness, inventiveness, and, uh, and just the overall passion that the workforce brings. I think Feds Feeds Families is a very important initiative. Uh, I'm always proud that DOT does such a wonderful job with respect to its turnout, but uh, putting the fun into this effort also helps make it not just a team building, but a DOT team building, one DOT exercise that I think really speaks volumes to this federal workforce. Well, what I think this demonstrates is uh, the great uh, enthusiasm of all the employees of the department uh, for helping solve hunger uh, in the district and uh, uh, putting uh, imagination to work as well and also uh, pride in, uh, in their own workplaces. So this is just a, a wonderful, wonderful display. Uh, each of them is very, very creative but uh, also demonstrates uh, very visually um, the amount of uh, effort and dedication and hard work that went into this whole uh, project. Well, I mean, I think it helps families across the country and in this time of, of economic downturn. It helps everybody, but it also helps us feel, you know, good about giving. So I think it's a good initiative. Hi, my name is Carolyn. I'm from OSCHR, and our castle was the protest driving and texting. Because technology has improved, cell phones have really become addictive, and people just text on them while driving. And a lot of car accidents have happened from 2000 to 2010. It's been a real increase, especially among teenagers who just get their learners. So our castle is actually an extra sketch with a phone and a hand and a line going through it and it's a car on the other side. I think it's a great program. It provides food, hygiene products to families who are less fortunate than us and it should be done more than just in the summertime but this gives you a chance to let your creative juices flow and yeah, spreads the love. <laughs> it is uh very much appreciated, certainly uh, by Victor and Jeff and I, uh, for uh, your participation in uh, Feds Feed Families. Uh, your contribution, your commitment uh, is uh, going to make a difference uh, in the lives of uh, many uh, D.C. area families. So uh, again, on behalf of, uh, uh, of all of us uh, in the leadership of Federal Highway, uh, as usual, you're, you're making a difference, and uh, uh, the community uh, is uh, once again grateful for your contribution. Mayor has agreed to donate 58,000 pounds of food. Uh, Mayor did a American flag as our inspiration because the theme is, in the spirit of giving, we decided to do um, a flag because it was patriotic, it was something that hits the heart of our organization of giving, and we just thought it was a great idea. My favorite part of the project was probably the creative aspect, the planning part. Once we figured out what we were going to do, the how, the how was very critical, and I usually enjoy that part the most. I think Fed should feed families because it's a, um, it's a good cause. It helps those who are less fortunate. And each year, more and more people become um, unable to feed themselves. And food banks dry up during the summer. So, you know, we thought that this summer it would be a good time to, uh, to donate food that, you know, we have maybe in our pantries or that we've gone out to buy and to help those who are less fortunate. I think Feds Feeds the Families is a great program because there's a lot of hungry people in this community and around the country. And you know, it's nice to see everybody come together to try to encourage this program and try to feed some of the local families. It's back to school, it's 100 degrees outside, and you know, people are always needing help, and this is a great way for us to donate some of our resources to those who are less fortunate. And I hope the, con the program continues and that next year we collect even more cans.